In this video, I'll be breaking NFL records at every position, starting with passing, then rushing, then receiving, and finishing it off with defense. So sit back, relax, and watch me make NFL history. Tom Brady holds the NFL record with most passing yards in a career with 89,214. Then the second most is Drew Brees. You can see there's a big gap between one and two, and also the same gap between two and three. So, uh, hey, currently, there is no current players that even have 60,000 yards in the NFL. Uh, Aaron Rodgers comes close at 59,000, and we know how great he is, but we're going to create a player that's going to break Tom Brady's record and finish off number one. So before we get into it, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what other Madden videos you want to see on the channel. Uh, this is a challenge I want to do for a minute, so I'm excited to see how it pans out. Also, I'm streaming on Twitch. Make sure you follow the link in the description. More content over there. So, hey, let's get into it. Now, let's Let's do the math real quick, logistically speaking here. Tom Brady played, I think, 20 or 21 years in the NFL and uh, 89,000 yards divided by 2021. 20, that's about 4,400 yards we need to get per season if you want to be on par to break this record. So in order to pull this off, I made a... So in order to pull this off, I created a player, a 99 overall quarterback. This is the best chance I have to break the record. So we have Dula Brady Jr., a quarterback number 15. This guy looks nothing like me, but uh, I just figured to use this face. At age 20, he stands at 6'4 and has 99 stats across the board. So, hey, when it comes to passing, he's going to be the best quarterback this entire video in the entire league. And I put him on my Detroit Lions because obviously I'm a Lions fan. I'm from Detroit. Now we turned off injuries as well to make it even easier. But yeah, just because I'm a 99 overall does not mean, hey, we've done plenty of videos, does not mean that I'm going to be breaking records just off of that. I need good talent around me. So we have, you know, some decent receivers. We got Donovan People Jones, uh, St. Brown, our tight end Laporta. We have decent young talent, but it's going to take more than that. So the best way I decided to do is like, okay, let me think. What playbook is pass heavy? The Kansas City Chiefs. So if we go to our offensive scheme, it's to air raid, which means uh, we're going to have passing plays be the focus for our offense. And then our offensive playbook is the Kansas City Chiefs. So just like uh, Patrick Mahomes, he always gets a lot of, you know, yards per season. I figured let's put his formation on this team and give ourselves the best chance to do this. Now, not only do we have to break the record of 90,000 yards, we also have to, you know, do better than Brady in terms of we got to win seven Super Bowls in three uh, regular season MVPs throughout this video. So got some more challenges. Year number one. Let's get right into it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to simulate to the playoffs and I'm only going to hop in playoff games. Now comment down below. Who do you think would break Brady's record in real life? I think the obvious answer is Patrick Mahomes. I think he's the only person that can come close. You know, Rodgers has 60,000 yards, but he can't get 30,000 yards. He's about to retire. You know, it's over for him. So I think it's Mahomes has the best chance. I can't think of anyone else besides, you know, Dula Brady Jr. In, in this video. We might not even, you know, complete the challenge. We might fail. It could happen. Okay, year number one, we finish off with a 12-5 record. Let me move this mic real quick. 12-5 record. So we're tied with the Packers, which is surprising because Packers, you know, Jordan Love, they beat us uh, in Thanksgiving, unfortunately. But we have an 88 overall offense, and uh, yeah, 12-5 is insane. I want to see the playoff bracket. Who has the bye? The Bills and Eagles both have buys, so they must have went stupid. Now we got to see if my uh, my my strategy worked. Did we end up getting uh, you know the amount of yards we were first in the league? Let's see. NFL right here. We finished second. Okay, yeah, bet. So 4,600 yards, 4,700 yards. That's good. If we could do that on pace for 20 years, we should break this record. Um, unless we literally have the worst receivers ever, and you know this coach, you know, just something bad happens. Joe Burrow got 4,800 yards. Dak Prescott got, got 46. Mahomes got 4,300 yards. And we did pretty good. Only eight interceptions, 40 touchdowns for a rookie. I will take that. Besides the all-time record in a career, I want to see most passing yards in a season was uh, Peyton Manning with 5,400. If we go break that as well, yeah, that'd be tough. But like I said, Mahomes got 5,200 a couple uh, years ago. So their last season, actually. That's what I'm saying, bro. Mahomes is the only person I think that could realistically pull it off. Crazy that Jameis Winston got 5,100 yards as well back in 2019. But I definitely want to finish, you know, top top one on this list. You know, I think we could pull it off. And in the game, the most passing yards in a game, 554 by this guy, uh, Van Brocklin. I'm not going to lie. Never heard of him. I know Warren Moon. I know Matt Schaub. Uh, but I do not know Van Brocklin. He played back in 1951. So he's a bot. He's not, you know, it's before, you know, the, <laughs> 
a long time ago. I'm pretty sure slavery was still a thing back in 1951. So, you know, it was, you know, it's, you know. Now the rule is also, I don't play wild card games. We only play divisional conference and Super Bowl games. I'm not hopping into a wild card game. There's been so many times where I get, you know, heartbroken because I think we have a chance and we end up losing the wild card. So this time around, we crushed the Saints 35 to 13. So we're up against the Seahawks who give the Lions trouble in real life. They're nine and eight. Let's hop in. They got DK Metcalf, Kenneth Walker, and then Jackson Smith and Jigba, who had the crazy one-hand catch on Thanksgiving. If you watched the game, you know what I'm talking about. But let's hop into SimCast. All right, starting off the ball game, we get a touchdown in the first quarter, two touchdowns. And man, if we can win a Super Bowl early on in our career, just like how Brady did, that would be ideal. But we got a game. Okay, we're up by one. We are, hold on. They take the lead. They take the lead. We give it back to them. We got, must have got like a pick six or something. And hey, we score again. All right, we're safe. We are good to go. And we end up beating the Seahawks. Clutched it out in the end. How did I do? I got 300 passing yards, three touchdowns, but two interceptions is, is tragic. Receiving wise, yeah, Laporta's going to be our main guy because of our playbook. You got to think Kansas City Chiefs is just like Kelsey. He's like our Kelsey, basically. Now we're up against the Cowboys, and the Cowboys are a better team than us on paper. 88 overall team, really good defense with Michael Parsons leading that. So hopefully we can still have a good game here. And for this game, we start off with a field goal. They come down with a touchdown. They got a legit team, though. If we can start off on fire, that's going to help us out a lot. Okay, and we're playing at home, bro. We're playing in Detroit, Ford Field, Dula in attendance. And this drive is huge. All right, that basically sealed the deal. Okay, we are headed to the, uh, is this, is it the Super Bowl? We threw for 300 yards and three touchdowns again. We had a great game. Bet. And yes, sir. We are in the Super Bowl up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. They got TJ Watt, an insane defense, uh, but we have an insane offense. This is it. If we win the Super Bowl, I, I, I could win Offensive Rookie of the Year, Super Bowl MVP, and why not even, you know, NFL MVP? We could do it all in our rookie year. Here we go. Most important game of our careers. In our first year, Steelers start off with a score. Keep in mind, they got Cameron Hayward, Minka Fitzpatrick. They got a solid defense. They're crushing us, bro. They are, they are actually crushing us. Can we come back? Uh, no. Hold on. Nah, we're cooked. We're cooked. That's game 1929. They just started off strong. And for some reason, we folded under pressure. Kenny Pickett wins a Super Bowl this season, by the way. This is all this season. I'm surprised that the Steelers even made it, first off. But yeah, I threw an interception, no touchdowns. Had a lot of yards. Man. It, but, I mean, yeah, I was not very efficient. Pickett had almost a perfect game. And the Steelers win it. There is no way that they would win it in real life this season. There's no way. At the bare minimum, can we win Offensive Rookie of the Year? Oh, oh, shoot. We won MVP. We won MVP as a rookie. Has anyone ever done that in the NFL history? I don't think so. Y'all comment down below if anyone's done that. I don't think so. But we win Offensive Rookie of the Year and NFL MVP. So that's one of three MVPs. Unfortunately, we couldn't win the Super Bowl. But off to a really good start. I think at this pace, we should be able to beat the record. But let's, uh, let's go on to year two. I'm trying to see if our team got any better. And we've progressed in terms of St. Brown's up to a 94 overall. Makes him one of the best receivers in the game. And Laporte is an 80 overall tight end. We have a solid O-line. That's the thing about the lines. We do have a very solid O-line. Montgomery's doing good. Even Gibbs is an 85 overall. Our offense is looking legit. It's just our defense that needs to work. We got Hutchison, who's obviously a beast. But uh, we need more than just Hutch to end up winning. Our cornerbacks are weak. Safeties weak linebackers weak so defense is gonna hold us back but hey hopefully this system can get us to the promised land wow 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 16 and 1 is insane 16 and 1 is insane you know the lions one time went 1 in 16 do you know that or actually no it was 1 in, 1 in 15 or, or or 0 in 16 sorry 0 in 16 so the fact that we went 16 and 1 is insane i just want to see something did we trade for someone <laughs> we must have no st brown's up to a 97 not everyone just i just made everyone on the team better i'm taking full credit yeah okay I uh, so i'm definitely gonna win mvp again no doubt about it the question is though stats wise how'd i do 4700 yards and 46 touchdowns so hey man we're on pace we're on track which is great to see you know it would suck if they like automatically retire me early like that would really suck but we get a, a first round bye, obviously. Um, did we have a harsh strength of schedule? I don't know. Let's see the standings though. It's us 
And then Bills did solid as well. Who's the worst team in the league? Commanders tied like with like four of the teams. Hey, bro. Yeah, we uh we did it. We're, no way this happens in real life. This is like a fantasy. But I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. We're gonna send to the next week. And if it's a if it's a weak team, there's no point in me hopping in. It's the Falcons, bro. Hey, respect to respect to my Falcons fans out there. We are beating this Falcons team, and we end up it was a close one, 18 to 17. Okay, I'm not underestimating them again. But we're up against the Eagles in this conference championship game. Let's see what we got. I definitely want to blow out until the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, I want it to be close so I can hop in and have like a heroic, you know, game-winning drive or something like that. You know, just my legacy. But this game against the Eagles, not guaranteed we win it. We finally make it a close game. Can we take the lead here? We could tie it up. And they come right back with a touchdown. What do we do? Come right back with a touchdown. And it's first and ten. Oh, we got to watch this. It's third and two. No, they're at our 31-yard line. We're actually cooked. They have two timeouts left. Oh, we could lose the game right here easily. Handoff play. We don't, do we stop it? Nah, first and 10. That's game. We're cooked. Wow. Now we iced them, but they still, I mean, with 11 seconds left, we iced them. And they're going to kick the field goal on first and 10. Will he hit it? Yes or no? Yes. That's clean. It's up to this right here. Can we get a kickoff return touchdown? No. All right. Deep pass all the way. Deep pass. Oh, we're going for a short pass out of bounds. That's game. And we lost in the conference championship game, so no Super Bowl for us in year number two. That is tough. On the bright side, we won uh, another MVP and Offensive Player of the Year, which makes sense. My stats were ridiculous. But uh, the Eagles end up winning the whole thing, which you hate to see. Check this out, man. Next season, we picked up Amari Cooper. So we have another receiver to give it to, which is going to make it so much easier for us to stack up the numbers. Laporte is up to an 83. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to stay at 99 the whole time. Now he's 22. Yeah. The only thing is I hope they don't trade me off this team. I'll end up coming back. Like, I got to stay in Detroit with this roster for as long as I can. But year three, there's no excuse. I think Brady won it in year two. Like, we, we're kind of behind at this point. Although we do have two MVPs, but I got to get these seven rings. That's the toughest part. This season, not so bad. Ten and seven. Uh, it's actually pretty bad. The fall off is it's actually horrible. But stats-wise, we're improving, bro. 5,000 yards. That's, that's insane. 5,000 yards. So we're at almost 15,000 yards three years in. You know, 90 divided by 15, do the math, 15 times two is 30, 30 times two, three is, uh, so six times two. Oh my God, hold on, hold on. So it took three years to get to 15. If you do that four times, you get 15, 30, no, 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 no. What is, bro, let me just use a calculator. I'm over here trying to be big brain. 90 divided by 15 is six. Six times three, it'll take approximately 18 years uh, to pull this off if we get lucky and if everything goes to plan. We could have a season where we just shit the bed. It could happen. But we're going to simulate this wild card game. Like I said, we don't do that stuff. And we end up losing to the Vikings. You got to be kidding me. Come on, man. Do we think anyone will ever come close to breaking Brady seven rings record? I mean, I don't I don't think anyone will. How many is Mahomes at now? Two or three? I think he's at two. If I'm not mistaken, he's at, well, uh, yeah, because the Rams won. So, yeah, he's at two. If There's no way he gets to seven. I mean, that's an insane feat. I don't know how Brady did it. Uh, Jalen Hurst, though, he's won two so far. You never know. Maybe in this video, he pulls it off. We got three MVPs, so we're tied with Brady there. At this point, I don't care about MVPs. I'm trying to win some bowls, bro. 13-4 and four this season, and we're still in the wild card, which makes me wonder, what are these uh, standings looking like? Eagles 14 and 3, so they get a bye. And then Ravens because they're on the opposite side. Okay, fair enough, I guess. I guess. Uh stats wise, I just want to see if we if we could, you know, cross 5,000. Once we do that, okay, 4,800 this season. We're actually second in yards, which I want to see who first was. Oh, Mahomes. Makes sense, you know, same system. And uh at age, what is he at right now? Nine years of experience while I'm in year three. Okay, so I actually perform better. More touchdowns, less interceptions. That's Pretty insane, to be honest. Even though I'm a 9-9 overall, so is Mahomes. He's been a 9-9 overall this entire video. And he's had, I would say, the same amount of talent. He's had a better tight end. I mean, St. Brown is now a 99 overall as well. So he's only 26 years old. Hutchinson, 99 overall. Uh, our offensive line, 98, 95. Laporta, 92 overall. Coop, 90 overall. And we got people, Donovan People Jones out of Michigan. He's an 85. So we have a decked out team. I just don't see a world where this Bears team could beat us. Therefore, I'm going to simulate. And if we lose, I'm going to be tight. That means in four years, we still can't get, you know, win a Super Bowl. We win that one 
hey, I'm sorry. The Giants are not are not moving me at all. We're going to simulate that one as well and hop into some real competition. Yeah, we won that with 31-20. We're up against the Cowboys once again. And this is going to be a good matchup. Starting off, tie ball game. We had the ball back. Score again. We cannot disappoint our home fans. We cannot disappoint them. 21 to 14. We got a game. Okay, we got a game. I think, I think, oh no, they got the ball back. Third and two. Fourth and two. They, no, hold on, I gotta watch this. I do not want to get disappointed, man. Three point game, Dak Prescott. Remember, he's one of the best quarterbacks as well. And they have time. Second and four, two timeouts left. Prescott again, he caught it. And they use another timeout right there. They can very well tie it up with a field goal. Hey, I wanted that pick badly. We should have jumped that. If we're not careful, they can actually win this game. They have time, timeouts, they have momentum. Prescott crossed the middle. Whoa, 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 no. Okay, yeah, they scored a touchdown. Wow, we have a much bigger problem on our hands. Can I pull off a miraculous drive? Three timeouts, 13 seconds. I gotta go deep ball every time. First pass to the ground. Pass number two. Let's try this again. Second and 10. Out of bounds, come on. Third and 10, what do we have now? Deep ball and out of bounds, fourth and 10. And last play of the game, can I throw up a prayer? Maybe, yo, no, no, he got tackled, damn it. Oh, come on, man, come on, we were so close, imagine. That's so tough. Yeah, we lost, man, another failed season. Prescott went crazy. And another year, another MVP and offensive player of the year, so we break the NFL, you know, record of most MVPs for a career with four. I think we're tied with Rodgers. We'll end up breaking it. That's not an issue. Cowboys win the whole thing. That is an issue. Year five. Here we go. We come back next year, 13 and four. Hey, look at our team overall. 88 overall. We're the best team in the league. Not even a question. If you see on the right of the screen, passing leaders, I got 4,800 yards once again. So if we look at the records real quick, I just want to see. Now let's do the math. If I've got, let's say I averaged, I've averaged about 4,700 yards per year. If I play all 20 years, yeah, I'm gonna get 94,000. Bro, if we get 100,000 yards, that's gotta make me the greatest athlete of all time. Not even just NFL player, I'm talking about straight athlete. Okay, granted, we made the whole team better, man. We got Amon St. Brown at a 99 overall. You know, we got a first round bye. We're still ringless, which is obviously the most important thing. I cannot end up with uh, no rings. Eagles, I'm not playing the Eagles, bro. Come on, I want to play the real games. The last two games. We won 28 to 13. We're back up against the Seahawks. New rule. I'm only hopping in the Super Bowl. All right, we're going to manifest it. We're not playing these games. Only the Super Bowl I'm hopping into. And does it work that I manifest it? Yes. We are up against the Bengals in the Super Bowl. So Joe Burrow is still ringless. So am I. We're both 99 overall quarterbacks. We have good teams. Mine's better. Let's hop in. Here we go. Starting off, we get a touchdown. They come right back. And it's a high scoring game off rip. And we slow down a bit. They get a field goal off of that. They come back, get another field goal. All right, second half. Now it's kind of low scoring, to be honest. Okay, okay, okay. 21 26. Let's slow it down a bit. Do we get the ball back? Damn, they scored. Can we score here? Yes. Five point game. Can we stop them? No. Third and three. First and goal. No, we lost. Damn, they chew clock. Yeah, it was a two score game, so I didn't hop in. But damn. We lost our second Super Bowl, and I have four touchdowns too. 300 yards, that's really unfortunate. I think the Bengals had more time. If you look at time possession, I think they had a lot more. Yeah, bro, 42 minutes compared to 17. Like, that's going to obviously help a lot, so we lost off some BS, whatever. They had 31 first downs. 31 first downs is insane. In 190 rushing yards, their offense cooked us. Let's lock in. 12 and 5 this season, you know, not, nothing too crazy, nothing too great. I'm going to send to the Super Bowl. I'm just manifesting it. Why even waste time looking at all these other games, bro? We got 20 years to play. I'm not trying to be here for 10 hours straight. So let's send to the Super Bowl. I better see the Lions in it. And if not, we move on to the next season. But if so, um, we're going to win it, right? Right, EA? Right, Madden? Yes, sir. No, damn, 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 we lost, we lost, we lost early, actually, we lost to the Panthers, oh, wow, why are we so bad, this is a good team, why can we not win, it's been six years, man, we are not on pace to, you know, get this accomplishment, and that's really uh, disheartening, another year, another year of not making the Super Bowl is the Vikings versus Raiders, whatever, you know, one thing I also want to point out, uh, to keep in mind, Brady's not the only person that we're, that we're up against, yeah, I got 4,900 yards, Brady is not the only person that we have to worry about. It's now going to be uh, Matthew Stafford. I think Matthew Stafford retired at this point. But 
Patrick Mahomes. Where's Mahomo at? I don't know why I said Mahomo. Where's Mahomes at? I, 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 feel, I feel like he will be in here. Where's Mahomes? Oh, nah, we're straight. He got 3,700 yards this season. 3,700 yards. He's falling off a cliff. What is going on with him? I want to see his stats real quick. So his career stats, he's been getting 44, 46. Yeah, yeah. He's actually on pace to get the record as well. He just had a horrible season this year. That's usually not like him. By the way, we're still winning MVPs. So we won an MVP. Oh, last season we didn't. But every season but that last one, we won an MVP. So, yeah, we definitely broke the record at this point. Vikings win it with Nelson Floyd. They got a, a CPU bot winning MVPs or Super Bowls on us. Hey, man, can we win it in year seven, please? It's getting embarrassing. They're probably going to end up trading me off this team. or I'm going to have to be like a free agent and sign somewhere else. And it's a whole different challenge in itself. This Lions team is legit, too. That's, that's the tough part. We had a great O-line. Great receivers, decent defense players. Just a little update right now, the NFL, if you're wondering how things look. I am uh, 27 years old, 99 overall, with Lamar Jackson, Mahomes, and Joe Burrow being the best quarterbacks. We got Brock Purdy. That is actually interesting. Brock Purdy is ending up as one, like a top five quarterback. Then let's do Luke Parks, who's a bot. Jalen Hurts, CJ Stroud, Trevor Lawrence, Bryce Young. You know, in real life, he's struggling, but he's doing his thing. He's only 5'10". There's no way he's only 5'10". That's, that's crazy. That he's that good at 5'10". Wow. And then we have the best receiver in the game. Well, no, Zay Flowers is tied first. But yeah, so Lamar has Zay Flowers. We have St. Brown. Tight end wise, we have Laporta. And Lamar has an 84 overall Mark Andrews that fell off. But we have the second best tight end in the game. We should be cra we should get 5,000 yards, bro. It's not like it's very reasonable to get at least 5,000 yards this year. Nope, 4,600 yards. It is what it is. And I'm wondering, so we finished 29th. Our defense is 29th. Our offense is first. Our defense is one of the worst, which is it? Hold on, wait a minute. Uh, passing yards allowed. We allowed the most passing yards. That's horrible. I'm gonna change my defensive scheme because that's, that's an issue. Our pass defense is horrible. And that's what's not allowing us to get more time on the field to get more yards on offense. Therefore, getting the 5,000 yards, it, it all ties in together. So we're 14-3 and three up against this Vikings team. I'm sick and tired of not being in the Super Bowl, man. And we lose against the Vikings. 45-38, to 38, we end up losing again. Dog, if we even win one Super Bowl, I'll be happy at this point. We're back in business, man. 15-2. That's our second best record we've had so far in the video. Uh, and yeah, we, we haven't crossed 5,000 yards. And you know what's crazy about that? You know what's actually insane about that? We have 18 games or 17 games to do it. These guys broke the record in 16 games and we can't get 5,000 in, in, in 17 games. That's actually wild to think about. Wow, I just realized that. Another year of not making the Super Bowl. It's Eagles versus the Patriots. So we are just being a letdown. Right at this point, I'm gonna just fast forward to when we do make a Super Bowl, man. Hey, I wanna do a quick, uh, just a quick update on how we're looking. Check in on Dula Brady Jr. Eight years of experience, man. Eight years so far in the league. How are we looking at stats wise? Uh, yeah, we're doing, we are on track. We're on track, we got nothing to worry about. Bro, our, our like, interceptions are so low. Super impressive that, you know, for that. And then what about awards? We got, you know, Pro Bowl every year, and we're getting paid the bag, man. Five years, $286 million. We're getting money. Well, 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 we are here, man. The year is 2033, and it's the Super Bowl against Patrick Mahomes, the guy who I'm going up against. And, you know, funny enough, there actually is a funny side of this. It's not that funny, to be honest. You know, I'm just chatting. But Mahomes is on the list now uh, of all time. I, I, yeah, there he is. I was going to say 70,000. So he's at 70,000, and he still has plenty of time left. He was drafted in 2017 and is 2033, so 16 years. He still has plenty of time left, and he could possibly, you know, end up top two. So, hey, this is a huge game to potentially win our first Super Bowl. Let's hop in. Here we go, man. Starting off the ball game, they don't score. We come down the field to get a touchdown. That's a good start. We come back down the field, get another touchdown. A, as big of a lead as we can start with, the, the, the safer off field. Because, <laughs> hey, all it takes is one. All it takes is a little momentum, and they get the ball back, and we're cooked. Fourth and four, look, we put it back to them. Third and 17, fourth and 14. Back to us, they're burning timeouts, and boom, we win it. We win our first Super Bowl, Dula Brady Jr. We finally pulled it off, and, uh, you know, couldn't have pulled it off against a better guy. You know, we got 230 yards, two touchdowns. Receiving-wise, who is this guy? Frank Pitts as our receiver. 
whole lot of different, different faces, but my go-to guy, Sam Laporta, he ends up getting two touchdowns, and we are finally Super Bowl champions. We just need six more now. Look at us, man. We're going back to back on them. Back to back Super Bowl appearances, and uh, we're up against the Texans, who have CJ Stroud at a 93 overall. I kind of want to see who else the Texans have. They're a pretty solid team. They got Will Anderson Jr., who's their second overall pick. They got uh, some, they got Junior Clemens, like uh, that that fruit, the Clementine, the orange. I used to have those all time back in sixth grade lunch. But uh, yeah, 89 overall. Honestly, offensive threats not looking too crazy. 81 overall running back. Wide receivers, nothing crazy. Tight end, not even that good. This should be an easy uh, Super Bowl for us, man. Let's get it. Here we go. Starting off the game, they start off 10-0, and we are struggling to score. All right, there we go. 17-7. Damn, our defense got to step up. They really do. 2010. Okay. Can we tie it up? No, 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 no. We're cooked. We're cooked. We end up losing against the Texans. So there goes that. Uh, we both performed pretty good, but they had more uh, better defense, really. Okay. We did it, 17 and 0. We just had a perfect season in Madden 24 with an 86 overall team. That's actually crazy. Dula Brady Jr. He's the new GOAT. Bro, that's wild. So I gotta see the stats. The craziest part is we only got 35 passing touchdowns and 4,700 yards. And uh, we finished, bro, Quincy Winslow finished the most rushing touchdowns, but not that many yards. And then Larry Daniels, our tight end, Second in receiving yards. Okay, so our tight end is important. But the thing is, did Laporta leave us? Looking at our lineup, we, uh, yeah, we lost St. Brown and we lost Laporta. So we actually lost some huge pieces. And the fact that we went 17-0, I gotta see game by game. Any, uh, close games, all of them were pretty, I mean, either one score games, right? Yeah, most of these games were pretty close. Maybe a couple blowouts, but wow, 17-0. That's actually insane that we pulled that off. So that right there is a record of uh, Lions. I, I, I'm not sure if any NFL team went 17 or no, but we just broke a record for sure, for the Lions at least. And with that being said, we got to finish out a perfect season. So I'm going to sim to the Super Bowl. There's no way we lose. Can we go 20 and 0, right? It'd be 20 and 0. That would be amazing. Come on, EA. Moment of truth. No, we're not in it. God damn it. We're not in it, man. We lost. When did we lose? We lost... In the, ah, in the championship game against the Falcons. That is tough, bro. Another quick update for Patrick Mahomes. He's at 78,000 yards, and I think he's still playing. He's, he's playing with the Eagles right now. So he'll finish top two, potentially, you know, break the record. But look at us. We're already at 70,000 yards, so we're 20,000 away. And at this rate, it would take us about five years, I think. And considering we're 34 years old, we'd retire at 39. So we're cutting it very, very close if we do end up pulling this off. Meanwhile, Mahomes, he is gone. He's retired. Yeah, he, he's gone. So it's really up to us to be the only person to break this record. So I'll come back when uh, we're close. So check this out, right? We have 87,647 yards. We are 2,000 shy of breaking this record, okay? We are 2,000 shy. As you can see, some things have changed. We fast forwarded a few years. We're on a different team. We're on the Houston Texans, and uh, this season is over. So we're 14 and three, and I do want to give y'all a recap. Let's just assume the Super Bowl, but some things did happen. I was in the Dolphins the previous season, and we ended up winning a Super Bowl. So, and then we ended up winning one with the Lions. Uh, so I have three Super Bowls in total. Just the thing is, I'm like 38 years old. So time is not on our side. It's probably not gonna happen, but uh, let's look if we can win one more right here. The answer is no, we cannot win one more. So uh, let's just go to the off season. Just to show you guys, last season I was with the Dolphins. Dolphins ended up winning it. And the year before I was with the Lions, we ended up winning it and getting an MVP of the Super Bowl. So uh, yeah, like for that, we're straight. Just the thing is, I'm really hoping that we didn't retire because sometimes they'll force retire you. And uh, if we come short by 2,000 yards, I'm gonna be very upset. And oh, Texans, moment of truth. Three, two, one, we didn't retire. Okay, we're, all, we're basically guaranteed to break the record right now. So let's simulate one more year. And we're put on a different team once again. But hey, this is year number 19. We're 39 years old. Hey, still 99 overall. In this team, I'm trying to see if we have any good talent. Got this 86 overall wide receiver, 84 tight end. All we need is 2,000 yards, man. I'm trying to break every passing record. We haven't even looked, looked at the touchdowns yet, but we'll see. Once this season concludes, we're an 81 overall team. 
one last ride. Okay, check it. We end up in the Super Bowl. Our last year in the NFL, in the Super Bowl, we got to see, uh, did we end up breaking this record? We just got to check. Well, we got 4,000 yards. So if I did the math correctly, we are now the career record holder of most passing yards in the NFL career. 91,777. We did it. Now, keep in mind, we had 20 more games because, you know, each year has 17 games instead of 16. So we did it in 20 more games and I turned off injuries and we still only did it by 2,000 yards. So that goes to show how great Tom Brady really is. If we go to passing touchdowns, we're by far number one by about 100. So yeah, we definitely crushed that. In a season, we never had the most passing yards in a season. Never came close. Most we had was 5,000. But uh, passing touchdowns, we did have 48 in a season, but we still weren't number one. We didn't even beat Tom Brady's. So, hey, the goal of the video is complete, but since we're in the Super Bowl, I wanna see if I can end it off with a bang. Moment of truth, playing up against the Steelers, we start off with a touchdown. Hey man, we have our 10-0, okay? Keep cooking, 17-0. This might be a sweep. This might be a sweep. Now they get a little touchdown, that's cool. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, we score, we score, we're straight, we're straight. We're straight, boom! We end off with another Super Bowl victory. So our last uh, four years, we won a Super Bowl in three of them. And boom, we get Super Bowl MVP. And just like that, that makes it number four for us. So we end up winning four Super Bowls in our career, not seven. We did get like, I think six MVPs, which is insane. And most importantly, we broke Tom Brady's record. So hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, man. It is possible to do it. Uh, and, and I think we're gonna retire this season. Let's just see. Oh no, we actually could run it back one more year and make it like 94,000. So yeah, I think that's the most you can get is 94,000. I chose the best scheme, all that stuff, and we just barely did it. Today, I'll be creating a player to break every NFL rushing record. But what is the record? Well, it's actually held by Cowboys legend Emmitt Smith. During his 14 year career, he ran for 18,355 yards. And that's not the only record we have to break because we have five more rushing records that seem impossible to break, but we're going for it. So in order to do this, I made a 99 overall running back that has maxed out stats everywhere. And I put him on the Buffalo Bills because the Bills are one piece away from winning the Super Bowl. And luckily for ourselves, our offensive scheme is vertical power run, which fits perfectly with our player. So let's see if in our rookie season, we can make the playoffs and even win the Super Bowl and break the rookie rushing record. Which, by the way, is held by Eric Dickerson, who ran for 1,800 yards back in 1983. So it's been standing strong for 40 years. Wow, what a season. 16 wins and only one loss as a rookie. We have a bye, of course. And we led the league with rushing yards with 2,300. Not only does that break the rookie record of 1,800, but it also breaks the single season rushing record of 2,100 yards. We're off to a good start, but we just gotta be consistent in order to break Emma Smith's. Unfortunately, we were one touchdown short of tying the, the single season rushing touchdown record because uh, it's 28, we got 27, but I have a feeling in the future, we're definitely gonna break it. The fact that we ran for 136 yards per game is wild. And our longest yard or our longest run, I should say, was 96 yards tied with my boy, Christian McCaffrey. And just to confirm it uh, right here in Madden, we are first Eric Dickerson and Adrian Peterson below us. And then my boy, Barry Sanders, who I personally think is the best running back of all time. I want you guys to comment down below. Who do you think the best running back of all time is? I gotta go with Barry. And then LaDainian Tomlinson, that's the guy we gotta beat. We were one short, we're gonna break it. And by the way, Adrian Peterson with 296 yards, we could not break that. We're at 271, but hopefully, I mean, OJ Simpson, my, my guy, my my, my my boy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, uh, he, he, he uh, you know, Bill's legend, he ran for two more yards than us in the game. I was just kidding, I'm not, I mean, I think what he did was despicable, but if the glove don't fit, you know, it don't fit. Our first playoff game is against the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm only gonna hop into Super Bowl games. There's no point in playing if it's not the Super Bowl. So we're gonna simulate this game and see if we end up winning. And we won 28 to 17. Yours truly ran for 118 yards, got two touchdowns. And now we're up against the Kansas City Chiefs. They won it in real life, of course. Can we beat Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift? I think we could do it. Fingers crossed, come on. EA, do not sell me. I gotta get to the Super Bowl. And wow. Oh my God, 48 to nine, we ran through him. Patrick Mahomes had a horrible game throwing three interceptions. Josh Allen threw perfect, man, five touchdowns, and we got 130 yards. We did our thing, 
And uh, hey, we are on to the Super Bowl against the Dallas Cowboys, who also crushed the Falcons. On paper, they're a better team than us, 89 overall. They have a good defensive line with Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence, but I'm Dula. We're gonna run right through them. So let's start by simulating the first few quarters. We're off to a great start, 7-0, 10-0. All right, I will jump in the fourth quarter. We're up 13-0, and they finally get a touchdown. And now in the second half, I kind of want to hop in. We start with the ball in the second half. We're doing a counter play to yours truly. Let's see if I can get some yards. That was a bad run. Wow. I'm just going to do straight coach suggestion. I'm not going to control it. I'm just going to have John Madden, you know, rest in peace. He's going to decide what we're going to do. You know, I see Stephon Dix. He's getting pressed. They have a safety and help. Oh, never mind. He's wide open. Throw it deep. Come on now. Boom. All the way. That should be a touchdown. That is light work, man. Next up on defense. Okay, they end up scoring a touchdown, so we're back on offense. Let's start with the little inside zone run. Micah Parsons, we gotta watch out for him. Our blockers are doing their thing. Come on, juke move. We're straight. I just realized too, I'm wearing number 32. If I'm not mistaken, OJ Simpson wore that. So hey, we are, you know, we're making them. We're I, I, I don't know, man. Oh no! We almost throw a pick. Now you see me personally, I never punt the ball on fourth down. And I think the future of the NFL is like that as well. So I had to run it and we got a first down. Second and eight, it's time to pass the ball. You could give it to me. I can catch the ball, but they're playing good defense. We got Stephon Diggs, dot him up, let's go. RPO time, I'm handing it off. Handing it off, juke move, second and seven. I'm not sure where I wanna go. Am I open on the wheel route? No, bad pass, Dula! I'm stupid, I'm selling, that's on me. I thought he was gonna go for a streak, that's on me. Or a slant, that's on me. That's all. Well, hopefully they don't score, okay, they don't score back on defense. We get the ball back, we got blessed. I can't make no more mistakes, all right? Give me a big run. Get that block, let's go. Droop move, ah, oh, he, he, they're pressing. They're pressing like crazy. Stephon Diggs on the streak, come on. Beat him off the press. Yes, sir, not again. Wide open, Diggs! Oh, I went through it. It is all good, third and five. That slant should be wide open, but if not, Yours truly, fourth and one. Ah, I don't know. Is it up to me? I'm gonna go for it. This may be stupid, but I'm going for an outside zone run. Maybe a horrible idea. Will our blockers? Yes, let's go, big run. That middle looks wide open. That middle looks so open for me to attack. Good blocking, cut back in, cut out. Easy first down, baby. Slip screen on third and six. I've yet to try a screen play. We get open, give me them blocks. Yes, left side's open, juke them out. Big. I like what I see across the middle. I think Diggs or Gabe Davis. I think Davis. I think Gabe Davis. Dot him! Touchdown, baby! Will they score? Mm, yeah, they get a field goal, but hey, we're up by 11. I'm pretty sure that we have just won the Super Bowl. Yes, sir, we do in our rookie season, bro. The Buffalo Bills win their first Super Bowl in this era. It's about time for Josh Allen, man. The question is, will I get MVP? Will this man right here get MVP? I guess we'll find out in the offseason. But this game, I had 120 yards, one touchdown, did my thing. And I wonder, can I win like Offensive Rookie of the Year, Offensive Player of the Year, and a Super Bowl MVP all in one season and break every record? And the answer is yes. We won Super Bowl MVP, Offensive Player of the Year, and Offensive Rookie of the Year off to the best start possible. Bro, this is what I'm talking about. We are on pace to break all these records, bro. Well, year number two, we have five years remaining on this contract and it's actually like not, not really well. It's not a good contract. Only $5 million a year. We're getting severely underpaid. And I think it's time we give him some superstar abilities, make him even more OP. So which one should we add to him? He gets anything. I feel like Bruiser, or yeah, Bruiser would be a good one. Evasive or human joystick ah i'm gonna go with evasive and we'll finish it off with this where he gets uh, his fatigue it doesn't really get impacted at all that will give him more you know carries more yards more touchdowns i'm thinking you know 3d chess over here also we should try to get seven uh super bowls we should try to break the super bowl record while we're at it too i mean we have a stacked team damn crazy enough we only finished 12 and 5 and now we're tied with the dolphins 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 in the wild card game but it's all good another season of us leading the league in rushing yards but only 21 touchdowns this time around Ah, uh, we kind of fell off a bit. I don't know what's going on. I, I I think it's because we had less carries. Like, yeah, 279 compared to Derrick Henry, who had almost 50 more carries than us. But like I said, I'm only hopping into Super Bowl games, so we're going to simulate to the next week. Cross our fingers. It's the Dolphins, bro. We should beat them. We beat them 24-17. 
We're up against the Bengals, who are also 12 and 5, so a whole lot of 12 and 5 teams. But again, we have two stacked of a roster for it to even be a contest, and we beat them 42 to 27. Ah, we should probably hop into this one because the Chiefs are 16 and 1. They came back with the vengeance because their guy Rashi Rice, he came back with an 88 overall, so he improved like crazy. So let's see. Starting off this ball game, Kansas City scores right away. We come back down the field, we don't score. In the first half, we get a field goal, and all right, still simming. We finally got a lead. All right, fourth quarter's here. I think now would be a good time to jump in. We're up 17-14, and we get the ball back. Here we go. Third and three. You know what time it is? I got my superstar X-Factor ability. I'm going to run in. Easy first down. We got a read option play. Ah, L blocking. Remember, I do have evasive and all those fire abilities, so I'm going to use this to my advantage here. And we got a first. Ah. Third and inches. We're going for a deep pass here on third and inches. Maybe not the best idea. Oh, yeah. Circle is wide open. Let's go, Gabe Davis. Let's keep on running, man. Up the middle. Up the middle. Yeah, good blocking. Finding those holes all the way. Do the touchdown, baby. Hey, man. What can I say? It's what I do. The Chiefs, will they end up scoring? Come on, Kansas City. Put up a good fight. Nope. We got the ball right back. Here we go. Handoff play to the right. Good block. Yeah. Yeah, play action. Who's open? I'm open. I might as well. Oh, that's not even me. Don't know who bro is. But I'm pretty sure if we sim the rest of this game, we should be straight. And we end up crushing them. 31-14. We are headed back to the Super Bowl, man. And this time around, we're up against the Los Angeles Rams. Should be an interesting matchup here. But here we go. Playing at SoFi Stadium. Starting off by scoring an easy touchdown. They come right back. Oh, we score quick as well. We got ourselves a ball game. And we got the job done easily, 31-17. No need to hop in, man. That was light work. We are back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. We ran for 106 yards, two touchdowns. We could also get an MVP two times. And that's exactly what happened. We won our second Super Bowl MVP, and Isaiah Pacheco took our Offensive Player of the Year. It is what it is, man. We are starting as good of a career as you can get. Year number three, we finished with a 13-4 record, but we're still in the wild card game. And as expected, we lead the league again, and we actually broke a new record, 28 rushing touchdowns. Actually, nope, we tied it. We tied it with LaDainian Tomlinson. That's tough. We still haven't broke it yet, but we're on the right track, I guess. I need more carries. If I got more carries, I, this would be way higher. Let's say the average running back has a 10-year career. I think, you know, 10 years of averaging 2,000 yards. We're on track unless we get injured or, you know, something catastrophic happens. But I'm going to sim to the Super Bowl, and I'm going to hope we have a chance to 3 P. I I don't know who else has 3 peated in NFL history. My knowledge doesn't go back that deep. The fact that the Chiefs went back-to-back -back is, is crazy alone. But are we going to 3 P? Wolverine, what you think, bro? Oh, okay. He's up. Oh, never mind. Yes, we're going back to the Super Bowl against the Cowboys again. Starting off, we have the lead, but it's a back and forth game, man. They could easily take it from us in, I don't know, hold on. We got it back. If they score here, we should hop in. Oh, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, shoot, okay, we're up by three with 47 seconds left. They're onside kicking it, and they have three timeouts. Can we grab it? Yes, we got the ball. That's huge. So now we need a first down, and that should be game. Halfback dive with the man himself, Dula, across the middle, good blocking. Hey, can we get some more? Can we get some more? Hey, make a miss, yeah, all the way. Dula, touchdown, baby. And just like that, that's that's wrap. That's a wrap right there. We have yet again won another Super Bowl against the Cowboys. I ran for 140 yards and had two touchdowns again. Season recap, our third Super Bowl MVP, our second offensive player of the year. I think we solidified ourselves as one of the best top three running backs of all time. But we still have so much work to do to even cross, you know, 10,000 yards. Shout out to Frank Gore. Very satisfying number, 16,000 on the dot. But this year, I want to make sure we can cross this LaDainian Tomlinson record. And to do that, to make it easier, I'm going to change the frequency to lower. Of, of, of our running back being substituted out that way we have more time on the field now this could backfire because uh the lowest you could do is it could backfire because i could get injured and just miss out on a whole lot of games so it's kind of risky but i guess the strategy was smart because we finished out 15 and 2 and we demolished our previous record with 2400 yards 32 touchdowns so boom two records broke we broke our own record and 32 rushing touchdowns we still didn't get that many more carries to be honest but the next best running back is like 600 yards less than us that's crazy imagine we have a whole career of winning a super bowl every single season the way it's looking we might do it yup back at it 
Bro, this is like the Cavs and Warriors, but for football. And here we go. These are always good, close matchups. It's not like we've been dominating them every time. Like, it, it might come down to the wire. It's close. None of us are scoring. Finally puts up on the board. And... Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's a wrap. We end up winning. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got to punt it. Fourth and seven. They have no timeouts left, but they could still get a miracle play. You never know. Let's just spectate and see what they do. First and 10 from their own 17-yard line. Will Dak Prescott throw up a Hail Mary? Yeah, he's going deep. Wait a minute. No, nope. on the run. Getting sacked. Fumble. Pick it up, yo. Pick it up. That's it. That's game. We ran for a cool 136 and got three touchdowns this time. And another Super Bowl MVP to add to our trophy collection and another Offensive Player of the Year. I do want to get MVP. I know it's really tough for a running back to do it, but we should, we should try to aim for it at least. You know, Mahomes, is he's obviously the GOAT. But I wonder at what age will we fall off? Like, will it happen next year in a couple years? Or are we always going to be putting up these stats? You never know with running backs. Ah, first time not making the Super Bowl, man. Super Bowl 62 is Eagles and the Ravens. You hate to see it. Hey, it was about to happen. Another concerning thing was that we only ran for 1,900 yards this season, like a huge fall off. So hopefully it does not get worse from here. We're only four years in. We cannot fall off already. I'm about to take this auto sub thing to the extreme and make sure they never sub out and see it, either if my guy ends up dying on the field or he breaks every record by a mile. Let's find out. Also, this is his last season on this contract, so he might find a new team afterwards. So we got to go all out this year. Honestly, I wanted, I expected a lot better. But I mean, 2,200 yards, 30 touchdowns, that's cool, I guess. It still is records at the end of the day. Also, that puts us second so far, right behind Emmitt Smith for most rushing touchdowns in their career. We're obviously going to crush that one. It's just the yards that I'm not sure about because currently we're not even in the top 10 just yet. But 18,000 is a lot and things can happen. And once again, we do not make the Super Bowl. This is not good. So moment of truth, Sims to the next season, where will I be taking my talents to? Or will I be back in Buffalo? We're still contenders, don't get it twisted. Moment of truth, I'm about to click NFL rosters. Are we still on the team? Yes, we are on the team and we're getting paid a bag. There we go. Contract looking like this, four years and our total salary is 52 million. And our bonus is 39 million. So each season we're making about 20 million buckaroonies, man. I'll take it. Oh yeah, by the way, Stefan Diggs left us. That might be a reason we haven't been making it to the Super Bowl. But Gabe Davis is still solid and uh, Dalton Kincaid. It would be fire if we stay on this team our entire career. You know, kind of like Emma Smith, just be with one team. You know, like Curry and them and build a legacy the best RB of all time. All right, so quick update. We are in year number eight, right? We're 28 years old. You know, maxed out. We've had great seasons. And I actually am surprised. We are at 19,270 yards, 226 touchdowns. And uh, we actually got the longest run of 99 yards, which is the longest you could do in NFL history, obviously. A field is 100 yards, you know. And we only played 150 games, right? Well, we smashed Emma Smith's record, bro. Almost by over 1,000. And we still have so many more years to do it because Smith did it in 14 years. We're only in year number eight. So I want to see how high we can run it up. Also with rushing touchdowns, 226 so the last thing i want to see actually is this the single game rushing record and single game td record because that's the toughest one i actually don't think it shows that i don't think you could find that record specifically um yeah we don't have any games here for 200 yards dang it i wish i could check but if i go to career stats it just shows yeah it just shows longest run but not most that's so tough, man. Damn. I don't think we broke the six touchdowns in the game because that was unreal that Elvin Kamara did that. But at this point, I'm going to just simulate to the end of his career and I want to see how many yards does he end up finishing off with in touchdowns. So I'll see you guys then. And here we go. Officially retired as a Oakland Raider, by the way. Or no, not Oakland. Bro, I'm... Wow, Oakland. Las Vegas Raider. My fault. Uh, after 15 seasons, so we played one more year than, than Emmitt Smith himself. Let's see what number we finish out at. Damn, 31,921 total rushing yards over 15 seasons. That's actually crazy. Uh, almost doubling Emmitt Smith. And then for rushing touchdowns, 361. And Isaiah Pacheco actually finishes second, which is pretty interesting. And then for a season, most rushing yards, we ended up doing that numerous times by the way even in our last season 2400 yards uh three times in our career which is insane and then rushing touchdowns in the season 32 30 we did our thing and in a single game rushing yards we could not break that one that sucks adrian peterson with 296 we only get to 273 
couldn't even beat OJ Simpson. And even rushing touchdowns in the game, um, you know, Kamara was six, and the most we got was five, which is still solid. But damn. Today, I'll be creating a player to break every NFL receiving record. Jerry Rice currently holds the record for most receiving yards in a career with 22,895. It took him 20 seasons to get it. And I'm gonna try to do it in 15. And that's not the only record we have to break because we have five more that are gonna be just as hard to beat. All right, so here I am. I'm Dula, a 99 overall wide receiver, maxed out stats. I put him on the Chiefs because the Chiefs need a receiver. Even though they won the Super Bowl, still, if they had a receiver, they would have won it by a million points probably. And I feel like having Mahomes at QB is gonna make it so much easier to break this record. The only thing is for our rookie season, we're gonna share the rock with Travis Kelsey. So hopefully that doesn't hinder us too much and you know, he gets more targets than us. But he is arguably the best receiving tight end of all time. So we're gonna simulate the playoffs. Hopefully we can break every rookie receiving record, which I actually got to research right now. Well, it turns out it was actually this season where Puka Nakua from the LA Rams, he set the record with 105 catches for 1,481 yards. We'll see if he's that good at Madden. Let's see if my guy could break his record as well. And the fact that our scheme is West Coast spread, it's a 78% fit because our wide receivers fit perfectly. It keeps the defense guessing with a focus on short passing horizontally across the field. Sounds good with me. Wow, 17 to 0. If you gave Mahomes a receiver that was as good as me, they would have went 17 to 0 according to EA. That's actually wild, bro. For receiving, CD Lamb had the most yards with 1,600. And bro, Travis Kelsey got more yards than us with 100, uh, 1,300. Where are we? I'm Dula with only 1,100 yards, only 70 receptions. That's an issue because someone like Justin Jefferson is getting 115 catches. Meanwhile, we're only getting 70 and we only got 12 touchdowns. We didn't break the rookie record, so there goes that. But our longest catch was 75 yards. Uh, I mean, I guess not bad. 1,100 yards is not bad. But like I said, I'm trying to get this record in 15 seasons, so time is kind of like, you know, important. Maybe I do something where I get rid of Travis Kelsey next season to give us a better opportunity. Now in our divisional playoff game, we're up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm not even gonna look in their direction. It's the Steelers, bro. Like all due respect, there's no chance they beat us. And how much do we beat them by? 42 to seven, jeez. I think the issue is we have too many good receivers. I guess I thought I thought they sucked, but apparently Rashi Rice and uh, Valdez Scantling is getting the job done, getting more yards than us, but it is what it is. I think we're gonna have to rebuild next season, get these guys out of here. I did get two touchdowns though. And we're up against the Cincinnati Bengals who went 11 and six. Look, Jamar Chase is solid, but we have too much firepower. There's no chance that they beat us and we end up winning. 28 to 24, so it was kind of close. And in our rookie season, we are up against the Dallas Cowboys in the Super Bowl, who went 16 and 1, so a really good matchup on paper. And if you guys don't know, Jerry Rice, he won three Super Bowls. I won at least five during my career. So let's get it started, man. Starting off, the Dallas Cowboys score. They get the ball back and they score again. All right, we got to pick it up. We got to pick it up, bro. 21 to 21 to 6. We need more than field goals. Ah, I think we're cooked. Damn! Okay, it's not even a contest. That's actually nuts. Whoa, 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 whoa. 49 to 13, that's embarrassing. We got emasculated. Dak Prescott just cooked us, bro. He threw for 326 yards. He got four touchdowns. Mahomes threw two picks. Okay, and then yours truly. I got 73 yards. Yeah, that's tough. Season recap, CD Lamb ended up winning Super Bowl MVP and yours truly won Offensive Rookie of the Year and Patrick Mahomes won MVP, deservedly so. But I'm thinking this next season we make some changes. Now we lost the uh, MVS, right? Marquise Van Lys Scantling. And I know, I know ball. Uh, he's not, he didn't come back, but Rashi Rice up to an 84. I do want to keep him. It is important to have two uh, solid receivers. But it's really the tight end, this dude right here. He's in my way. He is 34 years old, so he will retire soon, I imagine. But he's in my way. I'll do this instead. I'm going to see what offers I can get from uh, Travis Kelsey. See if we can get anything for him. I actually like this one. We get Joey Porter out of the Steelers, a nice cornerback to help us on defense and a couple of picks, which really doesn't matter. But I'll take it just to get, you know, get something for him. And now all of a sudden we have a 73 overall tight end, meaning that he has no choice but to feed me the rock. And because it's my second season, I can finally give him some superstar abilities. But the question is, what abilities do I give him? Which ones are like the most OP in this game? I think route technician, so I can create some separation. We don't have double me. It would be kind of fun if we had the double me uh, ability, but we don't have that one. So instead, I should probably go for something like short and elite. We do a lot of short routes. And then finally, we can do slotomatic. Boom. 
faster cuts, and all of a sudden we became even better. So this season, I'm expecting for sure to be a top three uh, receiving yards leader. Now without Kelsey, we ended up going 12 and five and we're in a wild card game, but I imagine my stats are a lot better. So let's find out. All right, well, uh, there's an, a user error somewhere because Puka Nakua, he ended up getting 1,400 yards. Keenan Allen leads the league at age, what, isn't he bro like pushing 40? And then we're all the way down here, bro. We did, we got even worse, damn. Wow, just over a thousand yards and only eight touchdowns. I'm pretty sure it's because of our team scheme. So I got to use whatever scheme, uh, which one call it? What team? What team? Whatever scheme the Cowboys are using, I'm going to start using theirs because it's, it's clearly working. But it's all good. We're going to simulate this wild card game. Hopefully we don't lose to the Dolphins. We just barely win. And we're up against the Chargers. Again, we only hop into Super Bowl games. I'm not wasting my time in these divisional playoff games. We crushed them 49 to 28. This one against the Ravens, they're nine and eight. I'm eight. Hey, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna stay true to my word. I got confidence in my team, in my defense. Can they stop Lamar? Yes. And we're going back to the Super Bowl against the Cowboys once again. Back to back seasons, they went 16 and one, so this will not be easy. We can't get blown out though. Let's hope for a better result in this one. Starting off, they score a touchdown off rip. We come back with our own. I know Mahomes gotta redeem himself, man. Let's go, 13 to seven. I like what I'm seeing so far, only up by two. And I'm probably gonna hop in right here. Hold on. We're down by two, they're marching down the field, 37 first and 10, and they're gonna settle for a field goal and it's time to hop in. Now, just so you know, we're playing on all Madden simulations, so it's not gonna be easy by any means. But let's do it. We gotta march down this field, and this first play, this match play, I'm gonna look at Isaiah Pacheco, see what type of defense they're in. Yeah, Pacheco, damn! Yo, they said I'm flying. Okay, next play is gonna be verticals. You know, can never go wrong with some verticals. Our O-line is terrible, buying some time, going deep to Dula, let's go! Big catch, baby, for a touchdown. That was huge, bro. That was a great play, great play call by me. And they want us to go for two on this two point conversion. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I got big balls, man. Mahomes has his X factor. We gotta make something work. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Boom, we're up by three now. Now on defense, we gotta make sure we get a stop here. Second and one, first and 10. Okay, hold them to a field goal. Ah, no, they scored. Dang it. So can we run it back? Three timeouts left, just over a minute. It's time to cook up. This is a legacy drive. Legacy drive. Let's be smart here. Let's be smart. Playmaker him. Pacheco. Okay. Let's not forget we have some really, really solid abilities for my player on this bench play. Who? User catch. He dropped it. I think it's time. I think it's time we do this play. We're going deep. Third and 10. I trust myself. I trust my homes. Stay in the pocket. Scramble. Throwing deep. Do the big catch. Let's go. Time out. On all Madden, baby. That's me. We got to relax, though. 50 seconds left. We need a touchdown. I might go short here to myself. Yup. Something light. Got speed. Jump. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to call another timeout. On this in route, this in route might be the move here. This in route. This in route to yours truly. Get in there. Touchdown, baby. Back to back touchdowns. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm going to kick the extra point, and I want to watch what happens on defense. Bro. Bro. We got a fumble recovery. We got a fumble recovery. I just, I wasn't even paying attention. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all got to see the replay. Hold on. We'll see at the end of the game. But that was crazy. We just won the Super Bowl off a kick return fumble. And handoff play again. Give me a first down. Victory formation. Your boy Dula ended up getting two big touchdowns to win his first Super Bowl. I definitely deserve MVP. Here was the kick return after I saw I scored a touchdown right here. Boom, his stick, another one, and he fumbles the ball. And that secured us a victory. I really cooked up in the end. Mahomes had 430 yards. And then I had 217. Three touchdowns. I did my thing, dog. I definitely deserve MVP. And I get it. Hey, I got to be the first receiver in a long time to win Super Bowl MVP. But I also wanted to get Offensive Player of the Year. It goes to Josh Jacobs. We'll end up getting one of those. But one Super Bowl out of, you know, five that we need. 
on the right track. So for year number three, I'm going to change the playbook, their offensive playbook to the Dallas Cowboys because I like what they're doing over there. They have a lot more passing plays. Yeah, the goal of this playbook is to wear down defenses by running the ball, passing short and medium with frequent play action usage. That's going to work perfect for us. So hopefully this season, we can actually have the like the record, the numbers I was looking for. Well, 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 we're 10 and 7, so that's not really good considering we're a 91 overall team. But Mahomes led the league in passing yards with 4,700. Moment of truth. Yes. Okay, so it worked. We got 107 receptions, 1,600 yards, and 15 touchdowns. So that's solid. But if you remember, the single season record for uh, yards was 1,964, which was my guy Megatron. He, he set that record. So we're still a few hundred away. And then 15 touchdowns, the record for that in a single season is 23. If you don't believe me, look, Randy Moss did it back in 07. And then uh, in terms of yards, Calvin Johnson did it back in 2012. I hope we can make it back to the Super Bowl without, you know, uh, any issues or problems the Colts aren't really a threat we beat them only by four now the Texans is actually a threat you know CJ Stroud Tank Dell they're only getting better um especially in 2025 we still beat them though 27 to 21 now the New England Patriots are our conference championship game they just dropped Mac Jones uh the day I'm recording this so that's very interesting and we end up crushing them by 20 this time around, we're up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who went 14-3. and Very interesting. And we got Antoine Winfield Jr., who's got to guard me. Good luck, buddy. I feel like this should be an easy win, right? I mean, Buccaneers, they do have Mike Evans. They did re-sign him for a few years. Uh, uh, it's a close one. It's a high-scoring first half. We've dropped 24 off rip. And we got a ball game, bro. Hold on now. I might have to hop in back on offense next drive if they score. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, they're about to score. Okay, let me, let me hop in. We're only up by one touchdown. If they get a, a stop here, then they could easily come back. So let's lock in. I should be open across the middle. Yes, sir. Juke. Let's go. I know this playbook has some fire plays for my guys. So right here, we're going to go deep. And I think, is that, who's their safety? I don't know. You know what? It don't matter. I got no block. But because I have slot -o -matic, you know it's time. You know it's time for me to cook up in this play. Easy money. Come on. That's too easy, bro. They got to have, yo, the rest of my way. <laughs> Touchdown, baby. I think that should, that should be set. Let's see. Play by play. Nope. We end up winning. Back to back Super Bowl champions. Do I win MVP? Let's see what my stats are looking like. Oh, low key. Rashi Rice, he got three touchdowns. I, I feel like he deserves it. Uh, I got more yards, but it's because I got a big play in the end. I don't know. I don't know. Moment of truth, and Mahomes ends up winning the MVP. All right, fair enough. He actually had a hell of a season. Bro, he won, he won NFL MVP, Offensive Player of the Year, and Super Bowl MVP. That's like a triple crown. Now, one key player that we can't sleep on that's gotten better is Pacheco, bro. 95 overall. You know, even like the last video when we did it with the running back, he cooked up as well in, during his career. So I want to see him break some records at the end as well. Now, out of all the challenges, I feel like this is going to be the toughest one. Most receiving yards in a game is by uh, this guy Anderson. I have no clue who bro is, I'm be honest. I know ball, don't know that much. Uh, but, you know, Megatron got 329. This was an insane game against the Packers. See, I know ball. And then receiving touchdowns is five. I think we could break that one as well uh, during our career. 14 and three, and I have a great feeling that we definitely broke some records this year. Hey, look, if Mahomes threw for 4,800 yards, I'm gonna assume I was like 2,000 of them. Let's see. And yes, let's go, baby. 1988. And the record is 1964. So we break the single season of receiving yards record. That's fire. And we got 20 touchdowns. So not quite for the receiving touchdowns. I'm actually, I didn't expect that. I didn't think that we break that one uh, this early in our career. That is fire. 121 receptions. I think we caught the most balls. Pause. But yeah, we did. Let's go, man. And up against the Texans once again in this divisional playoff game. Hey, I'm going to send to the Super Bowl. If I don't see myself there, I'm going to be upset. But I do want a 3 P. If we get 3 P, that'd be amazing. And yes, sir, baby. We are up against the Seahawks, who have a 99 overall Kenneth Walker. And this is important because Kenneth Walker, he went to MSU. My player, I go to Michigan. So, you know, there's a rivalry in that alone. This should be a blowout. This should be a blowout, man. I don't know how good our run defense is, uh, but they are putting up some points. I don't think their defense can hold me. That's the thing. And it looks like they are. Okay. Low scoring. But we have the ball. We score a field goal. They come back down the field. 
with the field goal and now it's time to hop in there is one issue there's safety all the way back there he blends in with the logo so i gotta be careful that i don't throw it right to him ah uh, wait yeah bad. oh my god bad 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 tries again third and five on a curl route nope i shouldn't i yeah 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 <gasps> yeah we got blessed go block it go 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 come on do it yes sir touchdown we got so lucky that, that was a 50 50 ball could have been a pick but we made the most out of it wow that's crazy will they come back and score a touchdown of their own first and ten they're coming down the field and they punted it to us please tell me we do something with it we get back to them we get no oh okay 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 they got to the one yard line but we ended up they ran out of time or something we won i think they were the one yard line oh no it was an interception and then we kneeled it i'm stupid but we go back to back which has never been done before or 3p i meant which has never been done before your boy caught 166 yards two touchdowns hey we balled out did we ball out enough for super bowl mvp yes sir and we got offensive player of the year i mean it would have been nice to get mvp but mahomes did throw to us so it makes sense so there we go we already got two more uh you know two awards i don't think we'll ever get mvp as long as we play with mahomes it just doesn't make sense or any team i think the quarterback will get mvp for passing it to us you know 15 and 2 hey love to see it i really want to see 2,000 yards next to my name mahomes threw for 4400 so probably not yeah nah cd lamb led the league with 1700 how do you get that many yards but only nine touchdowns meanwhile I only got 13 touchdowns. I don't know if I'm break that single season TD record. I want to. It's going to be tough to break Randy's, but hey, is what it is. A lot of good receivers in the league right now. The Bills especially with Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis being in the top 10. And unfortunately, we did not make the Super Bowl for the first time in a long time. It is the Falcons and the Bengals that are here instead. And the Falcons win with Desmond Ritter winning the Super Bowl MVP in 2027. I highly doubt it. But the NFL MVP goes to Joe Burrow and offensive player is Lamar Jackson. Well, so far we have five years of experience. I want to do some math and see where we'll end up at in the end. But I'm at 7,000 yards. Now, if I do 15 years times this by three, that's 21,000, which uh, still isn't enough to break Jerry Rice. And I want to do it in 15 years. It might end up taking 17 or 18. The thing is, I think EA will force retire me though. Uh, like by year 15 if even so I don't know if I'll break it. It's gonna it's gonna come down to the wire Whereas 68 touchdowns the all-time record is 197 which I think we will end up beating that but we got our work cut out for ourselves Let's keep going 12 and 5 this season which makes sense the entire league is getting better It's not just us. So like there's a lot of young potential and talent in the league right now. So that makes sense uh, Mahomes he still passed for 4400. I really hope that we steps it up in year number six uh, I hate having to go through all these dogs. It takes forever. But who the heck is Taj Webster? This guy's a stud. 4,700 yards. But his ratio for TD interception is disgusting. And now for yours truly, your boy, 1,500 yards, 18 touchdowns. Ah, I want, I want, I want to cross that 2,000. Something that no one's ever done before. 2,000 in a season. And I'm so surprised that we're in the Super Bowl against the Falcons. They're, they're really going back-to-back, -back, apparently. And B. John Robinson on 99 overall. We got our own Pacheco, who's like a 95. So it's going to be a good matchup. Starting off, we end up getting a field goal. Get the ball back and throw up a touchdown. Hopefully it was to me. They score a touchdown pretty quick. I think we have control here. 17-7. to They get a field goal. I think we should be straight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me actually peep real quick. Second and three, first and goal. All right, we're up by 13. Will they come back and score? The answer is yes. Let me hop in. I don't know why we have someone else that's not me at kicker turner. I have 99 speed, so I should be kicker turner, but it's all good. That guy's huge. Very important drive. They have all their timeouts. We just need to get a couple first downs here. And I'm across the middle. Ah, I'm gonna try a ballsy play, a just sweet play. This might be stupid, but I have the speed. Horrible, horrible decision. All right, bump it. Third and 13. I'm going deep middle. Hold on. Buy some time. Go deep. No! Okay, fourth and 13. We gotta punt it. Dang. So with two and a half minutes left, can Desmond Ritter and B. John Robinson make a legendary drive right here? And we sack them off rip. Second and 18. Send some more pressure. Sack them again. There we go. This is a big play because I imagine if they don't get a first down, they're gonna punt it and use their timeouts to try to stop us on defense. Oh my god. We couldn't force a fumble, but injury timeout. Fourth and 28. Yeah, they gotta punt it. They're going for it on 4th and 28. What? This might be the dumbest thing ever, but I guess because they used their injury timeout, they had to. And yeah, that's game. 
our defense just won us that game. And just like that, we have won our fourth Super Bowl. I didn't go too crazy, only 50 yards and one touchdown. And Mahomes wins the MVP. Hey, we also win Offensive Player of the Year again. I was surprised because CeeDee Lamb got more yards than us, but I'll take it. It's like our third one. Hey, check it. We led the league by a lot, 1,800 yards, and we broke another record, 25 receiving touchdowns in a season breaking Randy Moss is 23. So, so far we are on the top of uh, the list on this one. You know, it looks like Kelsey got 23 as well back in the day, it's all good. And uh, when it comes to receiving yards in a season, we're number one. So in a season, we're the best receiver ever. But when it comes to game, how are we looking so far? Receiving yards, I don't see myself anywhere near here. And TDs, I don't see myself. And we back in the Super Bowl against the Packers. Jordan Love is a 94 overall. So let's see what he can cook up. Starting off, we're up 14 to 7. I like this. Throwing some dots and we stay stagnant. Wait a minute. 21 7. I think if they don't score here, that's game, right? Wait a minute. Oh, no. Let me lock in real quick. Let me lock in real quick. There's still plenty of time left. We're only up by five. I'm not in the game. Am I injured? Oh no, I think I'm injured. Damn it. I got an ACL sprint and I'm placed on IR. No. All right, well, I got to do it without, you know, the star wide receiver. Let me still cook up. Let me show you that I can still ball. I dropped it. Maybe with Pacheco, can we get a big run? That's good blocking. It's a flag. I think that's on me for holding. Holding offense. Nice. Now we're at second and 20, and all of a sudden, this is actually a close game. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. Oh, yeah. Tony, Kadarius, catch that. Thank you for holding on to it. And on first and 10 from the 17-yard line, I see no! Woo! Touchdown. That was a close one. Very risky pass, but we made it work, man. Rashi Rice. Rashi, no, that's Kadarius Tony. I'm retarded. They end up scoring again. Hold on, we have the ball, third and 10, let me let me hop in. Oh, we punted it to him, it's too late. Okay, okay, uh, <laughs> let me just see something real quick. It's third and two, first and 10, let me, let's watch this. Because they need, they need to score a touchdown to win this game, a field goal will not cut it. But can our defense hold them? No, this is not good. They still have a timeout as well. Jordan Love, the same play, bro. And he has Zex Factor activated, we're cooked, we're cooked, Jordan. Don't dive me up. Okay, good. Sack him. Sack him. You, we didn't contain him. And are they going to use their last time out? How do they just know? How, oh, yeah, they used their last time out. If we get a sack, that might be game or, like, you know, one more play out of them. And I think we're going to get the sack. Fumble. Pick it up. Yes, that's game. That's game. Biggest sack of all time right there for the Super Bowl. And we just won our fifth ring, bro. Mahomes ends up winning his like eighth MVP at this point. And we won our, our fourth offensive player of the year. Five rings. Let's aim for 10 now. We might as well. Well, the following season, we did not make the Super Bowl. And uh, Adam Morrison is the... Bro, didn't he play in the NBA? Wasn't he a bust? The heck? And we have a major change this season at the age of 28. Uh, we lost our, our guy. We lost Mahomes. This might ruin it completely for us we have a dimitri dobson 70 overall qb now because mahomes decided to go to la bro want a better weather i guess that's tough we'll see how this season pans out if uh we do horrible yards wise i'm gonna trade myself to a team with a good quarterback because i gotta break this record we're, we're still far behind all right six and eleven we're out of here. Although I did catch for 1,500 yards, which isn't horrible. We would have got a lot more if we had a good quarterback. So, yeah, next season, we're going to find a new team. So, uh, I, I came to LA to team up with Mahomes again. I had to, bro. We, I was getting unreal records with him. So, I'm, I'm going to stick with it. We did have to get uh, trade Pakua Nakua to get, to get me. So, it is what it is. It's just me, bro. You're not going to believe it, dog. Mahomes threw for 5,100 yards, which only means one thing. It can only mean yours truly. Finally broke 2,000 yards for the first time. First player ever to get 2,000 yards in a season, bro. 19 touchdowns. That is actually insane, bro. So we're currently at 15,000 yards after nine years. I still don't know if we're going to break 23K or if, we're, if they're going to make us retire beforehand. But unfortunately, after going 14-3, and three, we missed the Super Bowls, the Broncos and Giants. Tough scene. But of course, we win another Offensive Player of the Year. Mahomes wins his 11th or 1200th MVP. So uh, fast forward, and we've been on a few different teams. I'm not going to lie. we kind of been passed around ever since uh, Mahomes left again. 
Now we're on the Cleveland Browns. We're with bots now. We're with uh, a QB named Josh Langford, who I'd never heard of. But as you can tell, our stats have gone down significantly. Only 1,000 yards. It's, it's not too good, bro. And we have 12 years of experience. I'm not sure how much longer we have left. So just so you get an idea, so far we have 18,600 yards, meaning we need four over 4,000 more yards. And if we get a thousand yards per season, it's gonna take at least three to four more years, which I don't know if that's promised, but here we go. We also have 179 touchdowns. The, the, the record is 197. So I think we should break that one. Damn, we're cooked. We're cooked. Mission failed. I'm due to retire to 14 years. No, that's so ass. I can't even take him out of retirement like in 2K. Bro, how did Jerry Rice play 20 years, first of all? And, and second of all, why did that just happen to us? Let's see, can we even see his stats? Well, he's second in the all-time receiving list with just about 20,000 yards. It, in, in 14 years, that means if we play one or two more years, we would have broke Jerry Rice's record, but we can't change it. I guess 14 years is the cap, that's so ass. Um, but that's still really solid. Receiving touchdowns right behind him again, because we, mm, that's, so, that's so tragic, bro. At the end of the day, we did break the records of receiving yards. We actually did it twice, you know, broke 2,000, uh, which has never been done before. Receiving touchdowns, we did it with 25. And then in a game, I wonder what's the most receiving yards we got in a game? Uh, well, not anything close to 280, which is unfortunate. And touchdowns in the game, yeah, not even four. Dang. I mean, at the end of the day, we were on track. EA kind of hoed us there. Today, I'll be creating two players to break every NFL defensive record. I'll be making a cornerback and a defensive end to break the records for most interceptions and sacks. And it's not gonna be easy. For example, Ray Lewis has the most tackles in a career with over 2,000. And Paul Cross has the most interceptions in a career with 81. Pulling this off in Madden is gonna take a miracle. But if you're subscribed to the channel, you know that's what we do. So let's start with cornerback records. Look at this graphic. This single game interception record is four. It's a lot of interceptions in one game. Uh, the single season record is 14. And then for a career is 81. And for a defensive end slash linebacker, the most sacks in the game was seven. The most sacks in a season was 24. And in a career was 200. It's a lot of sacks pause and then we'll also go for the tackle record so single game tackle record is 20 most in a season is 156 led by ray lewis and then most in their career is 2059 also led by ray lewis so i decided to make a 99 overall cornerback and put him on the detroit lines doula sanders you know maxed out stats and then on the ravens i made a defensive end doula watt 99 overall right end i wanted to put them on separate teams that way the different defensive you know schemes and playbooks don't uh conflict with each other and i also put them on contenders the line, my lines by the way in the ravens really good teams so we're going to track both of their careers throughout this entire video and hopefully by the end of this video break every record i want y'all to kind Comment down below who do you think the best NFL defensive player of all time is is it Aaron Donald is it Deion Sanders is it Ray Lewis it might be Aaron Donald or Ray Lewis but let's start by looking at Dula Watt I made him a beast six foot eight as you can tell 311 pounds and I finally figured out how to give rookies x-factor abilities you guys in the comments have been cooking me for not knowing how to do it but real quick looking at his stats I literally made everything 99 for both for both players except I guess impact blocking and for his abilities that were automatically given to him we have unstoppable force as his x-factor ability then we have inside stuff secure tackler speedster and run stopper and then for my boy Dula Sanders we got the bottleneck x-factor ability then we have inside shade persistent flat zone ko and then acrobat which will help us get some acrobatic interceptions now i was gonna make a linebacker as well but i felt like you know making a right end will get the tackles and sacks a higher chance instead of a linebacker so for my cornerback i'm gonna be running the base 4-3 defensive scheme it's actually it's a 100 scheme fit and uh, it has four defensive linemen three linebackers ideal for generating a pass rush and allowing seven defenders to drop into coverage and hoping i get more picks off of that and then for my defensive end on the ravens the defensive playbook i'm going with you know after looking at reddit was the buffalo bills apparently they had the best one for getting sacks it's a 4-3 scheme focused on generating pressure on the qb which is what i'm looking for and it's going to be a 46 defense which is a 95 percent scheme fit so i think for both players what we'll do we'll just simulate to uh the playoffs in our rookie season and we're gonna see 
what player is gonna, you know, come closer. We're gonna probably do 15 years of simming. It's gonna be a long uh, journey to track both players. I'm really bad at multitasking and managing two things at once. So hopefully I don't get too distracted. I'll try to, you know, make it organized. Well, the Ravens got a lot better. 15 and two is actually insane. And we had the number one defense in the league. Uh, and, 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 and then we, hold on, hold on. How many points allowed? We were first, only 210 points allowed. So who had the most sacks? It will be Dula Watt with 31 and a half QB sacks in a season. That's wild. And that breaks the record of 24. So we already broke one record in a season uh, with 31, which is great. And then tackles in a season, we ended up getting not the most. It was a middle linebacker that got the most, but we ended up finishing with how many? It was 88 tackles. The record is 156. So if anything, uh, this dude almost came close, Cody Barkson. And interceptions, please tell me it's my guy. No, it's not. Hold on. Where's Dula Sanders at? Yo, ah, uh, I don't see myself anywhere. There we go. We only had three interceptions this season as a rookie. That's it's pretty bad. The record is 14. So we're like 11 behind. That's it's not good at all. The cool thing is we already make the record of uh, the NFL record book as a rookie, which is unheard of, by the way. And the most sacks we got in the game this season was six, as you could tell right here. So we're very close to breaking that record. I mean, the record is seven. So I feel like in one of these years, we're going to get it. You know, Derek Thomas, Chiefs legend. He got it in real life. That's my guy. But of course, we have the first round by for having a 15 and two record. And then the Lions are third in the, uh, I'm so bad with, I think they're in the NFC. I'm really bad with like, with the NBA, I know conferences like the back of my, back of my head right here. But like NFL uh, is way more confusing for some reason, even like the divisions, I'm, I must be like a casual, but I'm just saying we're up against the Buccaneers. We should end up beating them. So we'll just simulate to next week. I mean, ideally we have a Super Bowl matchup of the Ravens versus Lions, a battle of the defenses. I think that'd be kind of hard. Uh, we're up against the Chiefs though. Not going to be an easy uh, task over there. And the Lions ended up winning 24 to 17 against the Buccaneers. Uh, how, did, how did that go? I got an interception. I got an interception in a playoff game and then four tackles. That's a W. And I I feel like because we have two players in this video, I'm just gonna hop into the Super Bowl. We have two times the chance to make the Super Bowl. Um, so I will just hop in Super Bowl games. We end up beating the Chiefs and we're up against the Bills, which is gonna be a, a I mean, not the worst matchup in the world. We ended up getting blown out the Lions by the 49ers, 38 to 24. Makes sense, the 49ers on paper are amazing. Brock Purdy threw for 247 yards and McCaffrey ran for 93. So if we win this game, we're up against either the Seahawks or the 49ers. If you want an easy chip, I want to go up against the Seahawks. No, we end up losing 21 to 20. What? And it's going to be the 49ers winning the Super Bowl. Dak Prescott wins MVP. And Dula Watt wins Defensive Player of the Year and Defensive Rookie of the Year. So we got one of them winning it. I want both of the guys to, you know, end up winning Defensive Player of the Year. But off to a great start. I'm not going to lie. I think for the, for the defensive end, we're going to break that record. I'm more concerned about the cornerback. Now, this is a preseason game starting year number two, and it's the battle of the best def defenders in the league. I'm not going to hop in, but looking at the defenses compared 85 to 84, I do want to see uh, the actual lineup how it looks. I know in real life, the Lions defense, it needs some work. Like, we could really use some help on defense. The Ravens defense, though, is insane. We already have Roquan Smith, one of the best linebackers in the league. We got uh, Marlon Humphrey, one of the best cornerbacks, and Kyle Hamilton. We got, you know, yours truly, Dula Wap. Let's look, let's look at the Lions defense. Lions defense is very, is not very impressive. We have Aiden Hutchinson. So uh, yeah, that's why I didn't add, you know, the best uh, defensive lineman on this team because we already have Hutchinson. I don't want it to be a, you know, a conflict of interest of them splitting stats. CJ Gardner Johnson is the only other redeemable person. You got Branch as well, but for the most part, this defense is not very good. But I have a feeling one of these teams are going to make the Super Bowl, so we're going to have some gameplay this season. We better. Hey, if y'all play uh, high school football, college football, middle school football even, I want y'all to send your clips to me on Instagram, and I want to see like if y'all can actually you know play for real. And if you do play defense, a cornerback, or defense end, what's your personal record for like the best stats? Like, I wonder how good are y'all? I know a lot of people play high school football, so I want to see, you know, do y'all really, are y'all really like good at ball? I didn't play. I felt like if I played, I'd be one of the best defensive linemen in the nation, you know, 5'8", 170 pounds. You're not stopping me. I'm getting 10 sacks a game. I am so disappointed in my Detroit Lions going 8-9 and nine, missing the playoffs. That's, that's There's actually no excuse that the Lions missed the playoffs, bro. We have Jared Goff still. We have David Montgomery, Jameer Gibbs, our wide receiver court, 99. We have the best receiver in the league in Mont St. Brown. And we signed Amari Cooper. And you're telling me we, come on, dog. And the Ravens finished as a six seed. That's also pathetic. What's going on, chat? God dang. 
39 and a half sacks this season for Dulo Watt. Bro, 39 and a half is unbelievable. Actually unbelievable. 87 tackles. Yeah, I probably should have made a linebacker to get the tackles, dog, because we're not going to get it. Uh, the, Demario Davis, shout out to Demario Davis, you know, former Jets player, Fred Warner. Uh, they, they can't even break the single season record. You know, Ray Lewis is, is got, you know, dominant of his own player, but the 39 and a half is nuts. Bro, the record was what, 22? Yeah, tw 24. 24. <laughs> Bro, almost doubled it. And the interceptions, ah, ah, we didn't, I mean, we got five. That's definitely an increase, but like the top guy got eight. So in these Madden Sims, it's very, very hard to be, uh, you know, get over 10 interceptions, but it's what it is, man. Oh, I have an idea, by the way. I, I just thought of an idea. I'm going to let y'all know later in the video what I'm going to do, but it's going to be genius. Just just watch. Just watch. All right, by the way, we lost 31 to 17 in the, in the first round. So another wasted season. Sucks. And it ends up being the 49ers going back to back, man. This is this is nuts. This is nuts. And yo, the first time I've ever seen this happen in Madden history. A defensive player wins the NFL MVP. Has that ever happened in the NFL history? I doubt it. Matter of fact, Siri, uh, do you know? Alan Page did it back in 1971. Nah, I don't even count. Bro, Yo, we just made history. We unintentionally made history. I didn't even think we win MVP, but yeah, we win MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. That's that's very very insane. Yeah, this guy is off to an insane career. So our third season, and look at all the nine on overall players. Obviously, it's us two, and then we got Sauce Gardner in the mix. Shout out to Sauce Gardner, bro. He went to uh, Cast Tech, I believe, which is like bro ten minutes away from me. So shout out to Sauce Gardner. We got Patrick. Uh, I'm very certain that's his. That was. I'm sorry. That was that was very corny. Wow. Um, certain. Um, I was trying to do it like a joke about him being certain that he's, and then we got Michael Parsons nine on. Look at all the bro, bro, bro. Why is there so many nine on overall players? They're just handing out like Oprah, right? I'm a little concerned that our record is 11 and six. Uh, we have an 81 overall offense. I have a very bad feeling that Lamar Jackson left us. No, he's still on the team. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If our QB is Lamar Jackson, okay, running back sucks. Wide receiver wise, we got Zay Flowers, tight end Mark Andrews still. Am I bugging or am I bugging? Like, middle linebacker, Roquan Smith. Um, oh, Jabo out of Michigan, he still hasn't panned out, which is weird. And then, I, I don't know why we're not, I don't know why we're low overall. I really don't. Are my Lions in here? No, another season of the Lions missing the playoffs. That that really sucks. It's not like playoff stats uh, count towards the record anyway, but like, I still want to, you know, have that Super Bowl matchup. Once again, another great season for Dula. We got, th er, they're both Dulas, but uh, for the defensive end, 34 and a half sacks. So wait, in three seasons, that's already about 100 sacks. The, the career record is, the career record is 200. So what I'm thinking is this, once I break the career record for sacks, I'm going to switch him to a linebacker and try to get the tackles record because, I mean, he still has 89 tackles. Um, I think we, we, we could pull it off. So if he does two for one, that'd be insane. Yo, we only got two picks. I, I, I don't think there's anything I can do about it. But enough simulating. I want to actually hop in a game and get sacks, you know, and control him. I love usering the defensive end of Madden and getting user sacks. We beat the Patriots. Now we're up against the Browns. I'm a, I'm a... I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hop, I'm a hop, I'm a hop into this game. We're using this six eight menace himself right here. I'm just gonna straight bull rush him. Ah, hold on, let's go. I missed a tackle. Nice, nice. Low key, I should have made him like seven foot, like the max height. I, I feel like six eight though is big enough. I don't think, I think that makes him the biggest defensive player ever. They gotta start double teaming me. Good uh, hit stick right there. Bro, and I'm pretty sure that uh, Aaron Donald is six foot. So this guy being six eight is nuts. I got the tackle right there. And it's fourth and inches. They're gonna punt it. Come on, come on, come on. Get on, big sack, baby, that's on me. And we're subbed out for this play. Third and six, come out. Other guys come out big. Yes, he broke the pass up. Fourth and six. All right, hey. I'm only controlling defense. I'm going to stay true to it. Lamar Jackson, please. Oh, my God. We still couldn't score. We could have put up nothing. So we got to get it. Maybe a forced fumble sack or something. Off that end. Come on. Come on. You got to get through him. Interception. Ah. This right here, low-key, determines the game. If we don't get a stop here, we're cooked. We're there, though. Look at that speed. Woo -hoo -hoo! I wanted to force a fumble, man, and, and pick it up and score a touchdown because our offense can't. Come on, dog. If I can't, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I'll i do myself, bro. I'll do my damn self. Punt return touchdown. This offense sucks. I had to do it myself on the punt return. Uh, and I'm going to hop back on defense anyway. Can we get a game-winning stop right here? They have all their timeouts. They still have plenty of time. And it's really up to us. How bad do we want it? Get him! I dove for my life. No! No, get him! Get him! Damn it! No! Get him! 
damn! <gasps> what? I could have swore I had it. I could have swore I had it. No, 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 no. I could have swore I had it. Instant replay that. Nah, there is no way. I set the pressure. I was, I was right there. Look how close I was. Oh, I touched him. I literally touched him. He got the ball off clean. And, and, and that might have just cost the game. Bro, please. No, we lost. That's, it's scripted, dog. It's got to be scripted. We lost off some BS, man. Hey, ain't no way Lamar Jackson won MVP. After that playoff performance, there's no way he should have won MVP that season. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. Low-key, I might just say bump it and trade the cornerback to the Ravens. I, I might as well. Uh... Actually, actually, better yet, we might trade the, the defensive end to the Lions because this team got worse. I feel like Lamar Jackson either killed himself or he left the team. Uh, no, he's still on the team. All right, well, Dula's leaving, or Watt's leaving. Okay, so year number four, and we have the Dula's on the same team. We got Watt and Sanders on the same team in uh, the Aiden Hutchinson situation because he was our original right end. I ended up making him a right outside linebacker, and I took the uh, the Ravens defensive scheme that we used, the 46 defense and Bills defensive playbook, and I put it on this Lions team. So our defense is insane, right? The best cornerback, the best defensive end, the best linebacker, basically, or one of the best. Um, even free safety is now CJ Gardner-Johnson very solid and our strong safety as well so we have an 89 overall defense but there's an issue our offense is trash dog we don't have a good quarterback we have jameer gibbs at a 90 right uh, uh st brown's wide receiver solid tight end laporta solid uh penis uh Sewell, Pan -Pan Sewell, really solid but our quarterback is our only weak spot but he's a rookie so hopefully over time He'll develop. At the end of the day, this video is about defensive stats, not offense. So we're chilling. I mean, the more time on the field for our defense, the more stats we can get. So low key, I kind of want to, you know, be bad on offense. I feel like the the, the New York Giants back in the in the mid 2000s, right? Hey man, look. Hey, game is game. 11 and six. You know, not the best, not the worst. 91 overall team though. I think we are the best team on paper. We have to be, obviously. We have like what 499 overall players. Uh, but I have high expectations, man. Defensively, ooh, okay, 20. 27 QB sacks, a significant fall off from what we had before. Very, very interesting. Um, and then interception wise, uh, okay, well, we got four. So that's, okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. We ended up crushing the Rams 35 to 17. So let's see if we can keep it going. Beat this Buccaneers team. And if we win this game, I will hop into our next one. We lost 29 to 12, dog. It's our QB issue. This offseason, our main focus is getting a quarterback. But at the end of the day, we lost to the Super Bowl champs. Apparently, uh, two would let his team to, to a chip. Good for him. Look what we have here. We can get Anthony Richardson from the Indianapolis Colts. We're just trading away basically our entire future. But it's all good. Finally. Thank God, man. 13 and 4. I was, this is more, re honestly, we really should have went 17 and 0. But like 13 and 4 is, is, is I'll, I'll take it. We got a first round bye. But now the fun part. Moment of truth, man. Let's start by most interceptions. Let's see who led the league in that. That's Trent McDuffie with only six. And yo, what? Oh, Aiden Hutchinson left us. So that's actually a good thing. So probably more room for, uh, you know, the, uh, my DN to, to really get sacks. But yo, what the heck, man? Yeah, that sucks. I, I, that's kind of why I did this video combining the cornerback and DN because I knew if I did a separate video on cornerbacks, it wouldn't have really panned out like I wanted to. Um, as you can see, did we get any interceptions? Bro, I don't think we got any. Oh, man, I'm falling off, bro. Or Michael Parsons just cut 28 and a half for Michael Parsons. We got 28. Yo, I don't think we, we have, I, we, I don't think we get topped at any season. So the Tennessee Titans, not only do they have uh, Michael Parsons, but they have Jeffrey Simmons at right end, who got six. And then Aiden Hutchinson at right outside linebacker, who got four picks, 85 tech. Bro, yo, the Titans might be one of the, better defenses in the league i mean the cool news for us is that we're like one or two seasons away from breaking the all-time sack record and then we can convert him to a linebacker to get the tackle record but i mean damn okay so we beat the eagles in uh the divisional game so we're up against the giants man so starting off we end up putting up a touchdown on the board let's see cpu defense all right 14-3 i'm only gonna hop in if it's a close one 45 to 3. Yo, we are absolutely dominating them. I don't, I don't know how we beat them that badly. I got two sacks interception wise. Uh, we won't talk about it. So here we go. This is this is game of the video right here, in my opinion. The Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs, 15 and 2. They still have a peak Patrick Mahomes. Now, to be honest, I want to set the tone early. So we're hopping in and at the beginning, at the beginning of this game, we're gonna hop in. 
What the? What is my stuttering issue? Am I actually like retarded? Like, what am I supposed to own? What I was trying to say is I'm trying to set the tone early, so that's why I'm hopping in in the beginning of the game, and I'm gonna try to get some sacks. Oh my God! I ran right through him. <laughs> that's how you get in his head early. Third and 17. One more time. One more time. They got a double team. They're getting me. They're getting me in. Hold on. That's the first down. What a what a what a play. What what a play. I'm really bad at controlling the cornerback. I feel like I'm on an island all by myself. Stay with them. Okay, we're good. And drop that. <laughs> to Jeff Akuda. That's not Jeff Akuda. I think that's Gardner Johnson. That's a pick six though. That's all me. Horrible pass. And we convert. Defense putting up points right away. All right, that's Devin Bush. That is not. Oh, that's, that's Devin Bush. My guy. So that puts us right back on defense. I'm going to be using this area right here. He's going to throw it. Oh, I wanted to get there in time, but we forced the breakup. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a beast. Let's go all in. All in. Rip right through. Rip right through. I'm going to send all out blitz right here. I have finesse move as well. So let me use my finesse move. Spin around. Yes, sir. Get to him. Hey, fourth and 20. Jack Campbell with the sack. Damn, I'm going to hop in, bro. Our offense sucks. Third and four. I'm going to assume he's going to pass it. So I'm just going to man press right here. Uh, can I throw him off? Hold on to him. Yep, perfect. Perfect. He still got that off in traffic, bro. Let's try this again. Get that side. Yup. We're good. Oh, good sack, baby. That would be fantastic. So that's what I'm going for. Get right through him. Get that sack. Dive at him. Yes, sir, baby. From the edge. From the edge. Come on, man. Who would a breakup? Fourth and eight. They got a punt. So moment of truth. Can we score? Oh, my, I'm back on defense? What? What happened? We threw a pick or something? Oh, nah, we lose like that. We must have threw a pick or something right away. That is so ass. <laughs> we just lost the Super Bowl like that. Dula Watt had five sacks. Uh, my other cornerback, he had three tackles. Tough, tough. We lost in the Super Bowl, bro. And for the first time in the video, Micah Parsons takes my defensive player of the year. We got to get it back. All right, cool. We finished 12 and 5. Wild card. We can skip it. Uh, the good news is, I think we finally crossed one of our other records. We go to NFL records in a career. We go to defensive sacks. Yes, sir. Dula Y is there. 216 sacks. And we, the record is 200. So we already beat that record in a season we had the most sacks. In a game, I don't think we ended up beating that record. Um, but yeah, this season, I think we had 27. Yeah, we had 27 in 2020. Yeah, we're 2020, I hit 27. Um, in a game, is he still at that same one? Yeah, we cannot cross that one. But the thing is, we have some more stuff we're going to do with him. Pause. Because tackle-wise, we only have 631. We need over 2,000. So I'm going to switch him to a linebacker next season uh, so we can cross that record. And then in terms of interceptions in a career, so far, uh, Dula Sanders only has 20 after playing six years. We need 80. So we're not on pace. we got to have a miracle happen. And the Dolphins end up winning the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson's actually the MVP of that team. He's on the Dolphins now, so good for him. He wins the ring before us. It's now time we officially change him to uh, middle linebacker. I feel like middle linebacker has the highest chance to get tackles. Uh, Ray Lewis is a middle linebacker, fun fact. Fred Warner went earlier in the video when he was there. So And he has the mind reader X factor. Hold on, low key, I got to get hit. What is it? I mean, he could probably read minds, I'm imagining. The best defenders are capable of dismantling an offense like they knew the play call the whole time. Oh, like uh, he could read, like a mind reader. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. So we have the no outsiders, strip club specialist, pick artist, and run stopper. Yeah, big season. I want to break the single season record of tackles, which is 156. So our first year linebacker, let's see what we can do. Moment of truth. Ah, oh, nah, we weren't, yo, we're nowhere to be. We're not even close, bro. Yo, yo, we're not even close, dog. Ah, uh, only 108 tackles. I think it's because of our defensive scheme. I gotta change it next season, but damn, that's, that's a lot. Bro, we had that many tackles as an as a, as a end. But it's all good because we are here in the Super Bowl, back at it against the Jacksonville Jaguars this time. We have yet to win one. This could be our chance, so let's do it. So being a middle linebacker is going to be a bit different. I can actually lurk the field and try to get uh, interceptions or just play the middle. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then, of course, we can't forget, I still got my quarterback wherever I'm at. Where am I at? There I am. Okay, on, on, on the man offense right here. Zone, ch oh, I got beat, I got beat. I got beat, I got so lucky. Hold on. Damn, I missed. Oh, big tackle. I'm gonna go back to using the big guy right here. I think I should just blitz him, right? I think I'm a blitz. I'm a, oh, I got blocked. Dang it. No, get him. Damn. Third and five. 
This is it. Lurk that middle. I'm there. I'm the. Damn. He, he knows that was a dot. How did he? Bro. I hope they run it. Because if they run it, I'm a boom. I'm a boom. I'm a. Hold on. Ha. Ah, he jumps in for a touchdown. We're cooked. Let's see. Is our offense going to score? Mm, yes. We are still alive. We still have hope, man. All right, so we forced to stop on defense. On offense, we scored. And here we go. So it's 28 to 28. This is it. They have three timeouts. We have two. 40 seconds left. Can our defense clutch up and send it to overtime? Use ring man defense. <gasps> I could have picked that. Second and 10. Play my zone. Play my zone. Ah. Okay. Play my zone. I'm good. Oh, he got me. He cooked me. He dropped it. <laughs> we got so lucky. If they get a first down here, we're cooked. Our best bet is to, uh, I mean, I don't know. We got to get a pick or something. We got to get a pick. Can I get a pick? Can I? Can I? No, oh, what? First and 10, they could just hands it off. Can we force a fumble? Something? Not, nah, we're cooked. They're gonna go for a field goal though. They called a timeout and they're going for a field goal with 14 seconds left. They kind of gave us plenty of time and I did ice him as well. So actually I didn't ice him. Well, uh, we ended up losing. It doesn't matter at the end of the day, 31 to 28. So we're 0 for three in Super Bowls. Hate to see it, man. All right, so fast forward, and both players have now played 13 or 14 NFL seasons after this one. And usually, with my experience, they retire after 14 seasons. And then once they retire, you can't see their stats. So I'm, I'm catching it before it even happens. So career defensive interceptions, do I see my guy? No, unfortunately, we couldn't. Defensive sacks, we finished first all time with 238. You already know we did it in the season. Um, and then in a game, uh, we didn't. But for interceptions, I don't think anyone came close. Let me see, defensive interceptions. Yeah, no one in this era could do it. But looking at career stats, we finished with only 1,500 tackles, which is 500 short of the all-time record. We couldn't do that. Uh, you know, Dula Sanders with 1,000 tackles and only 35 interceptions. So unfortunately, we could only break two records, which was the sacks for a season and sacks for a career. Everything else we couldn't. It was really, really tough, but hey, we tried it and uh, we kind of passed, kind of failed. Game is game. I'll catch you guys soon, man. Peace.